This is Twit. Trump administration proposes slashing NASA's budget by 24%. It's the biggest NASA budget cut in like modern history compared yeah, to I mean, probably so. since the space race, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. And it it's is. very skewed. And this is add. this is very fresh, by the way, just so that everyone knows, this came out literally a few hours before we started recording the podcast. So right. so it's been uh, talked so, about up till now, but this came out in the skinny it, budget, right? It, it, yeah, this came out in the skinny budget. I haven't gone through all of the details. So like what we're going to talk about is very top line, but it is not looking great. It could have been a lot worse. We talked on the show. Uh, in the past, about a uh, potential fifty percent uh, budget cuts to science, etc. Uh, mm -hmm. But but this is this is pretty pretty strong uh, uh, in its own. This is a, a skinny budget for fiscal year twenty twenty six from the Trump administration that would cut NASA funding by six billion dollars. So that means that from twenty twenty five enacted levels twenty four point eight billion. Uh, they're saying no, going back down to eighteen point eight billion. So that's where that twenty four uh, percent comes from. And uh, and that I mean it ends a number of uh, of programs. Uh, 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 it means that the uh, the Gateway space station around the moon probably going to go. Uh, Artemis done after Artemis three, which uh, which, no. which includes well, Artemis, well, not as Artemis. We know it today. But, I, I'm, but I'm but saying the SLS sorry, is I'm, SLS. The SLS yeah. is what I'm talking about. SLS done after Artemis three, and then I guess Artemis would would evolve uh, after that. The um, uh, Excuse me, one the, second. They they all. I also read, and I'm not sure if this is accurate or not. Was that SLS and Orion would go away after Artemis yeah. three? Yeah. But Orion can be launched on a variety of other spacecraft, can it? They could potentially adapt it for that, right? And so, I mean, I think that there was talk about Atlas V, and and uh, maybe that when the site gets phased out, you could look at Vulcan, that that sort of thing. Um, it's it's they, they've got options with that one because they were able to save it from when it was part of Constellation, uh, etc. So I think that that might be up for for discussion. Uh, Mars sample to return another one that Gone. could be um, uh, that could be uh, 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 on on the on the cutting room floor in at least its current form right. because of the frustrations and the budget uh, issues right now. Okay, what about and, the Nancy Roman Space Telescope, which was well, rumored to be on the chopping block and well, so is that, finished and ready to fly? By the way, that's what I have to look into right now mm -hmm. because, as I said, like I was looking at the human spaceflight. You know, I'm a rocket person, so I look at the human spaceflight uh, stuff the most. Um, the and, and human space exploration overall got, actually received extra money, six hundred fifty million more. Yeah. Uh, but but it has these other things that look like they're on uh, on the chopping block. But what I can say because uh, the Nancy uh, agreed Roman telescope is, you know, a purely science uh, uh, application, and as you said, already built, etc. We talked uh, with uh, uh, Dr. John Grunsfeld on our last episode about that. Uh, that uh, uh, the planetary uh, uh, society, you know, which has been decrying the potential science cuts, is um, is you know really trying to make it known that the science budget uh, 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 overall is getting gutted in this this budget so uh they, they're saying you know it recklessly slashes up to 47 percent of with widespread terminations of, of functional missions that are worth billions of dollars this is from from their statement uh today and uh and so they're really pushing to get you know congress involved to really i guess step up and say look you know we need to preserve science, uh, and uh, and so you know if 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 the Roman stuff does cause carry through, it would be extremely disappointing because we've seen that from a Trump administration in the past to just cancel science stuff where it's built already, and yeah. uh, and, and some of that was able to be uh, restored uh, back in the first administration when the skinny budget came out, and they proposed canceling five different, I believe, uh, at the time, uh, Earth science missions. Um, once jo uh, Jim Bridenstine came in, they were able to restore at least uh, a good number of those, if not all of them. Like They did not uh, get rid of them. Uh, some of them were active missions, some of them were yet to fly. Uh, we're still waiting for Jared Isaacman uh, to be uh, confirmed in the Senate as NASA administrator. He has said that he does not feel that these drastic science budget cuts are a good idea or make sense. Uh, he's on the record saying that to the Senate subcommittee, 
but he's not administrator yet, so he doesn't right. have a say. And so there is still a lot in play as to like what's going to happen with these cuts. But it is a really deep cut. Again, very, very fresh. I haven't gone into the line items yet from the skinny budget. So I really uh, want to be able to do that. And maybe next episode we can come back and say, look, this is what I found. This is where who's who's squawking, who's who's saying it's a good idea, who's saying it's a bad idea. And we can we can maybe we'll do the whole episode on that. Uh, Rod, I don't know. We'll have to see. Now, <laughs> is is there a particular person we could think of that has, oh, let's see, an operational space capsule who might want Orion shot down? Well, can we think I of mean, anybody? I, 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 my, my name, my, 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 my name, my, 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 my mind is drawing a blank, Rod. As you well know, no, mm. the, 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 the gutting of the of the SLS and the the Orion. Um, very much makes sense if it's, it's something that comes like from a billionaire owner of another space program that is trying to get customers for their ginormous rocket. I do, I'm not saying that that's the case, you know, but we know that Elon Musk has been very, very much involved in both uh, the, 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 gu- the budgeting of the, the current administration as well as uh, a, a lot of insight into the space uh, agenda. Uh, we'll see how much of that like really sunk in through whatever he advised the the, the administration to do, um, and how much that involvement was. I think it's it's still kind of an up in, yeah. in the air how much of it came from that. No. Well, and I, I I think we all want to see Starship succeed if it turns out to be the right architecture. I think there's still a question mark there, but but it means you're not you going to get the exploration upper stage for SLS. We it means we're not going to get to the moon by 2030, frankly. I mean, that's what it seems my like. opinion. Yeah. But when you have somewhere between 16 and 24 retanking flights for one lunar foray that have to take place for a spacecraft that let's see, it's uh, the middle of 2025 and it still has not had a successful full orbital flight. Yeah. Mm, gosh, that's kind of a problem, which brings us to yes, a couple of kind of, surprising press releases from nasa over the last two weeks the first one i i literally i I pulled it up and i kind of gulped and choked a little bit and then the second one i was a little less surprised Mm -hmm. and you know i understand and and you're going to explain to us why i'm saying this i understand why nasa felt they had to do this maybe it's kind of specific to janet petro who's the interim administrator i don't know but they were fawning over yeah. the executive branch should we should we say what it says nasa soars to new heights in first hundred days of the trouble is, is that what we're talking about yeah uh, yeah that <laughs> one and uh president trump's fiscal year 26 budget revitalizes human space exploration they forgot the and kills science especially climate science part yeah, yeah. They well, that, that, off that, for some that to me feels like putting a lot of lipstick on a pig right so they have oink, to oink. They have to spin uh, their budget, uh, even though it has a 24% cut uh, across the board as as much as they uh, as they can. And so, what they are focusing on is like, hey, we've uh, we've we've increased our commitment for human space exploration by by giving them more money to do uh, more things. But we're not going to talk about the fact that we're shutting down uh, or would shut down a, a a whole SLS rocket launch system, which, by the way, was signed into law. Right, Congress ordered NASA right. to make that rocket, right. so they have to change the law to cancel that program. And that um, would be the moon rocket that we have that actually works, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. So, uh, and so it's it's a lot of of human spaceflight focused stuff about science technology stuff, all about uh, uh, you know put, uh, putting an American on Mars, not China, uh, getting to the moon before China. You know th- that's what you're seeing in uh, in in this list here, and so uh, you know it's I've I've. I understand why they put that out there because the you know there is always a press release about the the budget, mm-hmm. uh, and they have to try to paint as uh, positive a picture uh, that they can. Uh, but there is a lot of politics wrapped up in this one this year uh, because of just the state of the government and how um, I guess how divisive the administration has been, especially like with the the, the, the cutting uh, of budgets and uh, and staff at, at agencies, uh, and then uh, just how much the rhetoric has gotten into NASA. We saw it with the moon landings earlier this year, where uh, they're saying you know America first on the moon and and, and whatnot, uh, and and it's it's just. It's just stuff that we have to watch out for, uh, so that you're, you know, you're not taking it all at face value. That you see the context behind a lot of it. Hey, if you enjoyed this clip, be sure to check out this week in space. You can find us on your favorite podcast app, or see the link in the description below. See you there. <laughs>